Hello, and welcome to today's webinar titled Facing the World of Cosmetics. Presenting today from XY Pantone are Adrian Collins, a Global Key Accounts Manager, and Marianne bachheim Verhul, a Cosmetic Project Specialist. Just a few things to go over before we get started today. If at any time during this webinar you have any questions, please feel free to submit your questions using the questions form on this page. We will do our best to follow up with you as soon as possible. Finally, we will also send out a link to a recording to this webinar tomorrow so that you can watch this again at your convenience. So with that, I'll turn it over to Marianne to introduce herself and get things started. Thanks, Robert. And I'd like to welcome everybody here. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Marianne Bachheim Verhell, and I'm the Cosmetic Project Specialist here at x -Rite. And I have been with x for eight years and I lead all the cosmetic projects for the company globally. Before working at x I held a variety of positions in cosmetics and marketing, as well as management and artistry for major brands and doing cosmetics for um, print media and TV, et cetera, um, as well as being a beauty editor. Um, I love everything in terms of beauty and fashion. And a couple interesting things about me is I follow fashion closely and I love to ride motorcycles. Now I'd like to introduce Adrian Collins. Adrian? Hi everyone, I'm Adrian Collins. I'm a key account manager at Pantone and I've been here for about two years. I am super passionate about helping my customers um, with any of their color management challenges from inspiration to execution. Um, I work with some of the most globally recognized fashion uh, brands as well as customers in the printing and medical device spaces where I'm really able to strengthen the relationship between my customers and Pantone, allowing them to be successful in, in all of their color and brand management endeavors. Um, I enjoy uh, making very, uh, some of the uh, personal points about me is I enjoy making very colorful, elaborate charcuterie boards. I love practicing yoga, reading, and cooking. So today with our webinar, um, the key topics that we are going to be covering um, is number one, using the Pantone Skin Tone Guide. Number two, using the Pantone FHI Color Guide for Cosmetics. Number three, achieving color harmony throughout the cosmetic workflow. And finally, number four, the integration of consistent and precise quality control of colors throughout your process as well. All these topics play an essential role in responding to consumer preferences and product development, which can create both challenges and opportunities in the marketplace. x ray and Pantone are proud of the expertise that they bring to the cosmetic industry. Um, we understand the unique needs and have developed solutions to solve the most complex color challenges the industry might face. Products such as foundations and concealers are created in multiple textures and thus require measurement solutions created to address these unique textures. Products such as lipsticks and nail varnish, they pose a unique challenge due to a variety of specialty finishes that capture trend and special effects. Since the trend aesthetic of these colors is paramount, specific types of measurement instrumentation must be used to address these product nuances. These products plus powders continuously experience a demand for something new and innovative. A need for unique color can be expensive, so avoiding waste is imperative. So finally, retail cosmetic packaging must accurately convey the high quality product inside while supporting brand messaging. This requires an accurate color communication to vendors from initial design to finished product. x and Pantone not only understand the products, but we understand the process too. So Adrian, if you can tell us a little bit more about the process. Sure. So we really wanted to take a look at the process from start to finish and acknowledge some of the conflicts that come up when specifying color throughout your workflow. And then we wanna dive into some specific tools in the next coming slides that can help with these color consistency issues that pop up in various stages of the process. 
So on the left-hand side of this workflow, brands and designers use inspiration or inspirational color from various different places to be able to define their initial color specifications. Their goal or the designer's goal is to pick an accurate color and apply it consistently across the design files and do this quickly in order to shorten time to market and reduce overall costs, which we know is a concern for just about any brand that we're working with. So on the right-hand side of this workflow, the design file is sent to the supplier, whether that supplier be a printer for your packaging or a product manufacturer for a specific cosmetic. And this is where the file is prepared for formulation and production. So the colors formulated with pigments or inks or dyes, depending on which product you're, or which type of product you're working on to match the specified color. And then the manufacturer or printer uses that color as a target to produce against. So colors formulated with pigments, inks, or dyes to match the specified color. And then the manufacturer or printer uses that color as a target to produce against. And the goal is to achieve the color accurately and consistently and to move quickly and be efficient. Unfortunately, what happens in many cases is that the color that's passed to the printer is not necessarily achievable and it may not be accurate. And it creates conflict for the producers because they can't make that specified color or if they can make it, it doesn't necessarily match what the designer originally wanted. And this can lead to high costs, more iterations, a lot of back and forth, a lot of frustration, and just essentially lost time in the production process. So many of the Pantone tools that we're going to talk about today address the creative bridge from choosing the right color for your hero product, whether that be the specific shade of your lipstick or the branding on your packaging to accurately reflect who you are in the market and to get someone to pick your product off the shelf um, to make sure that that accurate color is consistent and that your consumers know you and those are the colors that they're going to come to know and love. So I'm going to kick it over to Marianne again to talk through um, color visual evaluation and how we're going to use some of these tools in that process. Thanks, Adrian. Um, important to many stages of the process is lighting. Um, this is one of the most critical influencers of accurate color evaluation. By using a light booth and creating a dedicated area for visual evaluation, color can be accurately assessed under all relevant lighting conditions during any point of the, um, the process stages, such as design specification, pre-production, production, and quality assurance. To evaluate print, most of our customers are using D50 light source. Um, evaluating product may need both D65 daylight um, and ultraviolet, which is typically used in retail settings, um, since these would be both light sources in which product would be both used and sold. Um, to accurately view color under different light sources, your light booth should be placed in a room away from windows and where other light sources can be controlled when the booth is in use. So that dedicated area becomes really important. Applying best practices makes the light booth most accurate and most easy to use. So the booth is designed um, for a consistent 45 degree viewing angle. So you merely have to lay the sample flat at the bottom of the booth. You don't have to hold it for evaluation. And the top of the booth is actually designed. So it applies a physical limitation to the viewer. So it forces the viewer into that 45 degree viewing angle. So you you don't actually have to figure it out yourself. It's already done for you. Um, you can then quickly view your sample. We suggest limiting how long you look at the sample, make your judgment, and then move on to the next sample. Um, a quick tip is don't look at your samples before placing them in the booth. Um, oftentimes, if we look at our samples before we place them in the booth, we create prejudgments and then it can inaccurately influence your decision making whether it is a match or not. Um, but a light booth is just one of the valuable tools in the process. So Adrian, tell us a little more. 
All right, so starting with accurate color on screen. So we're talking, Marianne's talking about viewing color in proper lighting, but also when we are starting to marry our physical and digital world, so viewing these products and viewing colors in the light booth is a very physical um, thing that we do, but we also need to take into consideration that we're also viewing these colors on screen. And this is super important right now, especially with work from home situations that are very prevalent. But even as we slowly get back to the office, being able to see the most accurate color on the screen is essential, again, as we sort of blend these physical and digital tools um, together. So you want to make sure that your teams are always looking at the same color on screen. But in order to do that, calibration is really necessary because the varying um, color varies so widely across different displays. Um, so this iWood Studio Designer Edition is one of the simplest tools that can be shared amongst your teams so that not only your on-screen color has a profile, but that you can also extend this profile to various tools such as your tablets, phones, laptops, projectors, and printers. So by utilizing this tool, you will be getting one point of truth for color across not only your various tools or your various um, devices, but also across your teams. So as we continue through this digital journey together, it's important that not only are all these devices calibrated, but also that they're all connected, which brings me to our next slide, which is about Pantone Connect and our color match card. This uh, Pantone Connect, which you may or may not have heard of yet, is one of the latest things from Pantone, which every designer that I talk to in every industry is super excited about. So if you do any of your work in the Adobe Creative Cloud, this is now a way to not only find all of those Pantone colors that you may not have been able to find before, but also gives you a plethora of tools that make it so much easier to find different harmonies, to be able to cross match across libraries, um, et cetera, et cetera. So essentially this is a single solution for color wherever you need it. And you can sort of think of this as like the Netflix for color. So this is also, this Pantone Connect, um, not only after you've calibrated your screen, will you be seeing these colors accurately on your screen, but this Pantone Connect is also what allows you to use the new Pantone Color Match card, which is on the bottom of the screen there. If you see, it looks like a little credit card. It's next to the phone. Um, it is the size of a credit card. It can fit in your wallet. And essentially this card is, much more accurate than taking a photo of a color and sending it into your sending it into your team or eye dropping it into Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator. So a lot of times we take a photo of a color, it becomes inaccurate. It's on a non-calibrated tool that we then send to another non-calibrated tool and then we do an eye drop of that color. So essentially what's happened is you ended just that part of the inspiration step with a completely different color than you wanted to start with. This color match card allows you to use your phone, the Pantone Connect app, and place this card over that color and be able to accurately identify what the closest Pantone match of that color is, which can then easily be translated into Photoshop, Illustrator, or InDesign. So if you've ever had a if you've ever had a problem finding a color in Pantone, if you've ever had a problem identifying what the closest Pantone is to your inspirational color, this Pantone Connect and the Color Match card is absolutely the solution you've been looking for. And I highly recommend that any team start to use this um, and start and, and essentially starting it is free. And there's different subscriptions and different things that are available to you depending on how big or small your team is so please reach out but it's very easy it's very intuitive and very easy to use so please log on and um and try panto connect because no matter what um this is a helpful tool for any any team in any part of the process so the ideation of your color palette is it satisfying the range that your market needs so these are 110 
global skin tones to reference. So this can be used to validate lipsticks and blushers that look good against certain skin tones, or it can be used to create the actual skin tone products that you're looking for and make sure that those are inclusive of every range that you need and be able to make sure that you have as many as you need within certain ranges. And then we move on to finding your inspiration. So now we're, you know, we have our skin tone guide. How do you find inspiration for colors that can be both inspiring and communicated across the supply chain? So how do you arrive at your color palette? So these tools here, which is our FHI textile paper collection, um, these tools are what give you the ability to use fashion focused colors in every step of your process. So from inspiration to specification. So essentially you can use these guides to be inspired and to choose your color palette and, it, and to choose what those are going to be from the, the beginning stage. And then these would primarily be used for either the color of your cosmetics themselves or perhaps the bottles or containers in which they're provided. And for packaging, we'll talk about that in a moment because there is a different collection that we have for printing. But essentially these are um, coating on paper. So our TPG is coating on paper. So not only are you validating against skin tones like we talked about before, but you're also arriving at what colors are available for your actual cosmetics. And whether that's lipstick, blushes, nail polish, eyeliner, there are 2,625 colors, including 350 new colors that we just launched in March that can be used for both inspiration and communication. But by starting with a Pantone color for your inspiration and building your palette up that way, not only are these colors fashion forward, but you're also arriving a color that you know will be easily communicated and greatly reduce the time and communication that's involved in not using a specific Pantone color. So, there are many ways to go about developing your palette. As we said before, maybe you're using the Pantone color match card to be inspired and taking the Pantone color from there. Maybe you're using one of our handheld guides um, on shopping trips and noting the colors that way. Um, depending on how you're doing that, no matter how you do it and how you wanna start, incorporating these tools in your process, make sure that it's easily translatable for your brand widely. If you have existing palettes, you can also use this tool to match back to improve your communication and consistency. So for example, you may have palettes that don't have Pantone names associated with them. You could use a tool like the color match card, or you can simple, simply do a visual match with our chips or with the guides in order to match it back. And again, that type of um, communication just allows for a much smoother process throughout the uh, throughout production for you. And not only ensures that that first run of cosmetics that you're producing is correct, but it ensures that your hundredth production run is exactly the same as well by starting from that one specific point of truth or color, which is the Pantone specified color. So these come in um, various formats. They come in a guide format, which you see in the upper um, left-hand corner there. Um, it also comes in the chip format. Um, they also come in eight and a half by 11 large format sheets, which can be cut out with a grid that's um, printed on the back. And again, no matter which of these formats you decide to use, um, these colors are achieved by applying a lacquer to a coated stock paper or pigment. So the pigment-based formulations are available for these colors, which also makes things a lot more translatable and a lot easier for you. And then shiny objects. <laughs> that's uh, something that's eye-catching for all of us. This is our Pantone Metallic Shimmers color guide. These are 200 luxurious metallic finishes um, that come in one either handheld guide or a, a chip book as well, which you can see in the picture there. These carefully selected collection of trend-driven metallic colors are an ideal tool for designers to get inspiration and specify metallic uh, effects for cosmetics. These are produced using a pigment coating that combines and highlights the true essence of color with a brilliant and very luminous finish. 
And so the metallic shimmers enable the designers and colorists working metallics with an easy to use collection of trend right color references that aid in not only the visualization, but also enhancing the reproduction process. So these help you translate your vision to reality in the metallic world. And then we have more shiny objects, which are Pantone metallics, which um, this guide is um, 655 total metallics. There's 354 that are used for packaging and 301 that are essentially graphics metallic spot colors. Um, they come in, again, a handheld guide or in the chip books. And these are also great for specifying and creating in cosmetic packaging. But because of the world um, that we are creating in and because these metallics are so beautiful, not only are they can be used in packaging in this specific industry, but these could also be used for inspiration as well. So these metallic inks offer a multitude of economic color options over foil stamping for your packaging, which is really um, interesting to note. So if you decide to use these in your cosmetic product, even though this is technically meant as a guide for packaging, X-Rite does have solutions to help control the effects found in the metallics. And that brings me to Pantone Live Design. And so this is a desktop application that can be used for packaging designers. So this part of the presentation isn't necessarily for the cosmetic or the product designer themselves, but when it comes to packaging, this um, is another digital tool that allows you to visualize different packaging, um, different packaging and lighting conditions. It allows you to simulate light conditions with various substrates and also allows you to map back to uh, the FHI colors and throughout like the different PMS and design libraries that we have. So it kind of ties it all together, ties all the libraries together, allows you to cross match, but also what's different with this Pantone Live Design versus Pantone Connect, like we talked about earlier in the presentation, is the ability to simulate lighting conditions in different packaging on different packaging substrates. So now I'm going to turn it back over to Mary Ann for a bit. Thanks, Adrian. So now we're going to talk about formulation and taking the subjectivity out of color formulation, which we know that can be very difficult with cosmetics um, because the substrate's just different. So what does that mean? Um, that means that how do you formulate with ease and accuracy? Um, well, it all begins with the correct color measurement tools to help lab managers and formulate formulation professionals streamline complicated workflows to improve formulation efficiency and reduce waste time and materials. So again, the right tools for the right job. So cosmetics have special measurement needs. Sphere spectrophotometers deliver true process control for perfect color fidelity. These instruments, when paired with the right software, set a new standard for measuring, managing, and communicating color, and are available in both contact and non-contact to address different formulas. Having the right devices and software is just half the solution. Great repeat color also requires using the same base materials every time. So this is where quality control is imperative, if you have base materials that vary, your color will also vary. So having good quality control over your bases will be imperative to begin with. To mitigate varying bases, the formulation system can either reformulate the color for you, just test them, or actually both. Um, some of the devices that we recommend um, for measurement would be the CI 7800 and the MetaView. Other device and software considerations um, are the ability to create your own color recipes and custom formulations and to be able to test them yourself. So being able to do all that in-house um, creates an efficiency and a cost savings. Um, you can directly adjust formulations to reduce process and material variations that occur between laboratory and production. Um, and achieving a high degree of repeatability under tight tolerances. Um, so understanding what devices and software are best 
to suit your needs will not only save you the time and the money, but give you the agility to grow, pivot with consumer demand and deliver first to market product. So once you have your formulation, um, let's talk about production and speed to market with real-time color accuracy. So it doesn't matter if you're, you are producing a metallic, um, those products that have mica in them or an opaque product such as like a lipstick um, or a cream solid of any sort. Using the correct device means that any type of product can be measured and quantified. A device such as the MA5QC um, can evaluate and control metallic samples and achieve precise color measurements despite the interference pigments um, because it's the interference pigments that usually make it very difficult to measure, um, especially with repeatability. The repeatability is um, sometimes takes so much longer to achieve with those interference pigments. Having the ability to consistently measure against a standard and ensure a color quality audit trial can deliver accurate color readings on liquid cosmetics and versatility to measure a variety of powders. Good production practices allow stakeholders to work to the same achievable standards and create comprehensive production reporting to identify, evaluate, and correct areas of opportunity while providing actionable data to drive process improvement. Lastly, you will have real-time color harmony monitoring across the entire supply chain. Your brand is relying on you. The packaging is as important as the product itself. With X-ray Pantone's color measure measurement, management, and control solutions, color print specifications can be established and remove subjectivity throughout file preparation, proofing, and production. From virtual try-ons to innovative packaging, accurate representation of color is more important than ever. That beautiful new innovative packaging needs data, accurate data, and you need to know how to get it and get it correctly and get it right the first time. Just like your products, the right tools for the right job will make certain that your product color that appears on package actually matches the product inside It'll support the process that allows stakeholders to work to the same standards and seamlessly communicate QC results for closed loop production. I'd like to thank everybody for joining. We hope that this has given you a lot of opportunity to acquire new knowledge, perhaps think about some new tools that are imperative to your process. If you need additional information about any of our services, our products, or just to talk about what your process looks like and how it might be able, how we might be able to help you further define that process, um, we have our contacts here with both x and Pantone. Thank you, Marianne and Adrian. Again, if you do have any questions, you can either reach out to us using the information you see on your screen. Um, we also have a questions form on this page, so you are more than welcome to submit your question to us and we will do our best to respond as soon as possible. Finally, um, just to remind you, we will send out a recording to this webinar tomorrow, so I'd like to say thank you everyone for your time and have a great rest of your day.